Hello, welcome to round two. Uh, we're on the di we won the die roll, which is fantastic for us. And this hand is not good for us. Although we could cycle the rot beast, try and get greedy. We have sensor backup. We have a two. No, I don't think that's worth it. Yeah, this hand's just way better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad I stopped myself. Um, Island. We don't really need. We're gonna draw more lands. Um, if things get really desperate, we can always censor this hieroglyphic illumination. But, like, our curve really stops at three. Except for um, the Locust God or Scarab God. I forget which one I have. The good one. I'm gonna play the Kenra or the wretched can or the this guy. Playing the Kenra first. Uh, kind of wishing I had that land now. Because <clears throat> aerial guide is sweet, especially against green decks. Log of vitalist, sure. Land. Oh, why did I get greedy? Okay, cycle this. Land. Jeez, why did I do that? Oh, that cost me a lot of things. Yeah, I could have played a Dream Stealer and then just like... Oh man, if I don't draw a land next turn, I'm actually kind of in trouble. I figured with, you know, like six land or draws, I could find a land somewhere, but... I suppose not. Meanwhile, my opponent's at like 15 mana over here. They're even getting frisky for one. Land. Okay. Swamp is okay. We can still come back now. Um, attack for two. I think I still play the Dream Stealer. One, two, three, four, five. So they can play a six drop. I'm, uh, yeah, playing this earlier, I'm more likely to want the discard. <clears throat> than I am to want the damage off the aerial guide. And with Menace plus this lethal sting, it's really likely it can get through. Even in Enduring Hope, sure. Swamp is nice. So... I guess I kind of have to lethal sting on my Kenra Eternal. Is that worth it or do I just wait a turn? Because next turn I can play Soul Stinger. Lethal sting my Soul Stinger. No, I think this is better, because then they're still behind. And they just have to play catch up. Yeah, I think I like this. Just emptying their hand and then I can win the late game. Because now they have to play another blocker. And keep their Naga Vitalist up. Ooh, Cycling Desert is good for me. Um, next turn I think I play an Aerial Guide. Flying Menace is really hard to block. What is this? Not Cartouche of Strength. Okay, Watchful Naga. Kind of annoying. Island, so I can go Aerial Guide plus Wretched Camel. Um, I can't attack with the Dream Stealer just yet. But I can next turn, and it's going to have flying. <coughs> if they attack with a Naga, I think I'm just gonna chump with the camel. Whoa, what is this? 
Sifter worm? Oh boy. Okay, we got six turns to win this game. I would have expected a watchful Naga attack. Um, so, yeah, we can swing out and give the Eternal Flying. So now they discard a card. Soul Stinger. Put two counters on. Ooh. I can kill my own Dream Stealer. I think I like that. Just gives me a 4 4 menace. All of Pharaohs doesn't do much. Hooded Brawler's fine. Not that good on defense though. But now I can really just clock them in the air with Aerial Guide Soul Stinger. Yeah, they have no way to block flyers. Yeah, it's six in the air. Now we can eternalize this Dream Stealer. 4-4 <coughs> Menace, uh, which next turn will be Surprise Indestructible, because it is a zombie. So, let's see. Approach of the Second Sun is beneath the top 6, that was on turn 6. Now they're on turn 8, so it's beneath the top 4. So they should definitely exert the Naga. They should have done that a while ago. Okay, it's beneath the top three. Cycling beneath the sands, it's beneath the top two. I need to win like very soon. Block here. If they have a pump spell, this is not good. Okay. No flyer. Okay, not a flyer. Okay, we have a desert for the camel. Four, so we can get something indestructible. So I think we just swing out. Um, give the soul stinger flying. Four four menace is tough to block. And with this afflict one, they're dead next turn. And I, th I think they need to find a card draw spell to win the game. It's possible I counted wrong. I think that's the case, though. I mean, all I can do is attack, and we'll find out. Yeah, you can't block just the camel. That doesn't prevent any damage. That's 11 damage. <laughs> that seems better. Okay, they get afflict one. Uh, give you indestructible. <clears throat> okay, I I don't think they're drawing it this turn, but maybe they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Okay, it's next turn. So I think we have it unless they have some weird card I don't know about. Ooh. Okay, that's nice. I can make them bounce a creature and discard both cards they have. Um, I'm gonna bounce this four toughness guy. Oh, I need a blue. <clears throat> Though if they have like sandblast, I can just make them discard both. Okay, that planes. Okay. I think that's, yeah, that's just game. Sweet. Uh, you get flying, six in the air, GG. Alright, this deck's great. And we haven't even drawn the Scarab God yet, but we just don't need him. Uh, my opponent was green-white. With the approach of the second sun. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. We'll just kill them before they can play it. The usual plan. Um, I think this hand is a mulligan. This hand's much better. Two, three, four. Very strong. Um, Soul Stinger is fine. Uh, I think there's better cards I can draw, because I'm okay with lands even, and like, I think against this deck I just need to be kind of aggressive, and I just want to draw the Scarab God. He's good, and I want to see, I want to, I've never played with him, he seems awesome. Um, Desert of the Mindful. Do I play or cycle that? I think I cycle it, um, we'll find out, but, like, I only need to hit four land drops, and, I have a bunch of draw steps to do it. Here, I think I'm gonna play the Kenra Eternal. The Afflict is pretty good against this wall. <clears throat> Next turn I can play Dream Stealer. Okay, that candle's nice. Um, yeah. I... actually... I'm gonna attack with this Kenra Eternal without doing anything first. Now I just play Desert plus Camel. Guaranteed to get value, and it's not like Dream Stealer was going to be able to hit anyway. Four mana. Man, my opponent's really curving out. Okay, Cursed Horde I think is next on the, on the list. Indestructible is pretty nice. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So with a land, my opponent can play approach this turn. Okay. Interesting to cycle the ramp card looking for a land, rather than just cast it. Oh, <laughs> I guess if you have two, that makes sense. Okay, I think here I'm just gonna play the Rot Beast and start getting in for damage. Yeah, there's really no point in um, attacking with the Eternal just to give it indestructible. So, they're really turtling out pretty well here. Even Guide, or again, the Scarab God, hits them for 5 every turn. That's so good. One, two, three, yeah, so they can play Approach now. 
That seems like their main win condition. Okay, Watchful Naga, sure. <clears throat> Not a very good attacker in this board. Ooh. Ooh. I can't use both this turn. But I can very soon. One, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm gonna attack with a 4-2. No blocks, sweet. Now we play Dream Stealer. If my opponent doesn't have approach to the second suns here, well, even if they do, I can just like bounce and then empty their hand. So I really hope they play like a land and then a do nothing card. Um, sorry, there's like a beetle in my room. It's making sounds. Okay, um, so they're going to combat, probably swinging and exerting the Naga. Nothing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I want to bounce this Ritualist. Make them discard two. Seems quite good. So now they're quite behind on mana and tempo. And cards even. Because this is still a two for one. Wow, discarding start to finish. That's concerning. Uh, so we're gonna attack with the camel because I'm fine with it dies. Dream stealer because I'm fine with it dies and the rot beast. Sure. So I'm just gonna let the dream stealer die. It's not gonna ever get much damage in as a one two, but as a four four, it can really hit hard. Discarding start to finish. Do they have like Bantu's Last Reckoning? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, because you can just use... Okay. <laughs> For some reason, I thought when you discarded it, it's just its abilities disappeared. But yeah, that makes total sense. They don't really need the 1-1s. One so we're uh, I think I'm just going to take it. I still have quite a bit of like damage on the board. Okay, so they have the 2-4 now. So, if I swing out, they block the camel on my rot beast, and the ritualist on my eternal, and they take 3 down to 7, and then I have a 4-4 four, four menace. Seems okay. Yep. Take one, take three. Four, four menace. 
keeping this land in hand. Again, I have quite a few good draws. Ugh, compulsory rest is brutal. That makes that a lot worse for me. One, two, three, hooded brawler. Hoodie B! Quarry hauler, okay. Hooded brawler, quarry hauler. Can I just draw the scarab god one time? <laughs> Get him, slither blade. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, no point in attacking with the camel. They have no cards in hand. Um, probably block the Watchful Naga with the camel. As much as I hate to do it. Especially, they should not have played their land pre-combat, because if they exert now, then I'm going to make them discard in combat. Yeah. So that works well for me. Unless they draw an instant spell, but it seems kind of unlikely. So yeah, we could just block here, they lose the card they got. <laughs> oh man! Should not have played that land. That would have been an insane pickup. Wow. That went really well for me. I mean, I'm still at 15 against all these big creatures, but I have some really nice draws. Like that one. Bane with Punisher, I guess, is nice. Um, I'm gonna put a counter on the quarry hauler. And I can do this at an instant speed, right? Yeah. So Slither Blade gets in. <coughs> now I can block like the ritualist and then sack and kill the quarry hauler. thing is nice. Really wish I had kept the Bane Whip around, but couldn't have known I was going to draw Lethal Sting. And my opponent's dead in five turns. I'm losing this race. Not attacking with the Ritualist. What did they have? Huh. Okay, first Minotaur is nice. Now they're dead next turn. Man, I can't believe that they played the land before um, exerting the Watchful Naga. They seem quite tilted. I will take five. That's fine. So we have lethal. Um, if they have like a sandblast or something, that's okay. Yeah, farm. So we have to lethal sting the honey bee. I'm playing a land because then if I draw the scarab god. I can get a creature back, so now I can block with the Slither Blade. 
they're probably casting market. Naga Vitalist Forest. Okay. No plays. Yeah, attack for two makes sense. Scare of that, let's go. Okay, that card's very good. So we have two draw steps at it? Okay. This helps. <laughs> well, this might do it. I have a blocker. They can only hit me for two. Of all the two bad cards I could have drawn, that was two pretty good cards. Yep, block here. Take two. If they don't have a removal spell... Prowess 2. Or Afflict 2. Come on, don't have it. Don't do it. Yeah! Woohoo! Woo! GG's. Alright. Uh, we got there without drawing the Scarab God again. Uh, see you guys in round 3 in the finals.